I'm Jamie Christophan, Director of Product Strategy at McLaren. It's my pleasure to be presenting our new car to you today. It's just a real shame I can't be with you in person. Now, as you've heard from our host, Artura represents our next generation supercar. Of course, McLaren's history in supercars stretches back to the 1990s with the iconic F1. We, of course, returned in 2011 with the 12C and built our range from there. But now we're moving to something completely new, a new electrified generation of supercars. In defining what we wanted to deliver with this new product, we not only look to the future, a future set to change more over the next couple of years than perhaps it has over the last couple of decades, but we also look back to what we've achieved over the last 10 years. We wanted to build on some of those achievements, in particular our experience in delivering high-performance hybrid powertrains in both the P1 and Speedtail programme, but also take the opportunity that's afforded by designing an entirely brand new car to deliver an even better McLaren for a new era of supercars. Artura uses high-performance hybrid technology to improve the driving experience, but without the weight penalty you'd normally associate with adding battery technology. And we've done so while staying true to McLaren's DNA of technical design, outstanding performance, and unparalleled driving dynamics. Now let's hear from our design director, Rob Melville, on the first of those pillars, technical design. What was the brief? The brief was to design an all new McLaren hybrid supercar. What did that mean technically? Well, all new architecture, all new hybrid powertrain, all new aero, improved cooling, improved visibility, improved ergonomics, and exquisite design execution, all whilst keeping weight to a minimum. We guided the look and feel with three key phrases, the first of which was purity. Now, not just purity of line, but purity through the integration of components. This enabled us to achieve this very clean, pure aesthetic, but also the integration of components meant we were able to reduce the weight, and in turn, reducing the weight means Artura will rewrite the rulebook on just how engaging an electrified supercar can be. Then we have technical sculpture. Stunning to look at, but there for a reason. And just like the forms we see in nature, which have been carved by elements, Artura is the result of the forces around it. And finally, we have functional jewellery. We don't decorate our cars, we take what you need and make it beautiful. Okay, for our next section, let's take a close look at the car, but let's start with the overall proportions first, because for me, proportion is king. And Artura has classic supercar proportions, that long, low, sleek nose, compact wheelbase with staggered wheel sizes, so 19 inch at the front, 20 inch at the rear. This very rakish, sleek roof line and a cabin that's sunk down between these high peaked fenders. Those features, coupled with this very compact short rear overhang, give the car a visual energy like it's ready to accelerate or, or leap forwards even when it's stood still. Looking at the front zone, we have the McLaren hammer headline that runs full width across the front and that leads your eye into this eye socket feature where we have the deeply rebated static adaptive headlamps. Overall, all these elements come together to create a very mean, menacing look for the front of the car. Now, looking at the body side, the mission here is to, to guide and direct all of the high energy air, the free flowing air over this front shoulder into the mid-mounted radiators. We do that using a combination of elements, the first of which is the technical sculpture of the door. We have these sheer and fluid surfaces combined to create channels for the air to flow down where we need it to. But the second feature, we have the front fender vents we're able to direct and guide some of the turbulent air that builds up inside the front wheel well into the path of other turbulent air coming down the body side. That means that overall design not only looks fantastic, but functions incredibly well. Next, we have the roof. And this is a one-piece, full-width aluminium roof. This allows us to continue this very pure, clean, fresh, modern aesthetic to the car. We then have the layered roof panels. This feature is all about guiding and directing the air down from the side of the car across the engine bay, helping to extract hot air from that zone and also increasing downforce across the rear. And then moving around to the rear, we have the full width laser cut mesh designed to optimise the cooling across the rear zone. 
set into that, we have these ultra slim almond shaped LED light blades, very um, characterful and ultra high tech. In the middle, the twin exhausts, lightweight solution, but also sounds absolutely fantastic. Below that, we then have this very deep, purposeful looking diffuser, which does exactly what it looks like it will do, produce lots and lots of downforce. The approach on the interior is the same. It's all about purity, and we've created a driver-focused environment using lightweight luxury materials. And we've taken that driver-focused concept to an all-new level. Not only do you have the, the screen angled towards you here, but we've now mounted the binnacle and the dynamic controls onto the column. So that means as you find your perfect driving position, you always maintain perfect visibility of the instrumentation. It means you can keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, and you can then engage and have fun with the dynamic setup of the car. And then we have the seats. Here we're showing the club sports seat, single piece, lightweight back shell with adjustability. But you can also option the comfort seat, which has multi-way adjustability. Once you've chosen your seat, then think about the overall look and feel for the interior. And there's three key specifications you can choose from. The first of which is performance, mean and moody with hot accents. You then have tech looks, which uses lighter material combinations, but a large volume of leather. And then we have vision, the interior we have in the car right here, using very modern, fresh combinations of both colors and materials, but it still maintains that very sporty, dynamic feel. In a nutshell, Artura brings the most advanced technologies in the most engaging and relevant way. So lighter, faster, more responsive, and with a striking new aesthetic. To hit our high level objectives for the Artura programme, we had to start with a clean sheet of paper to design and develop what we're calling MCLA, the McLaren Carbon Lightweight Architecture. This of course starts with an all new carbon tub. But in fact, MCLA is much more than just a tub. It's the chassis hard points, it's the crash structures, and it's an all new electrical architecture. One that's allowed us to add features like adaptive cruise control and Apple CarPlay. MCLA will underpin our next generation of McLaren models. And it's not only new, it's every bit as revolutionary as the monocell we introduced with the 12C. Most importantly, MCLA is optimised to work with our all-new high-performance hybrid powertrain and exploits McLaren's core competitive advantage when it comes to electrification, which is lightweighting. Compared to our first-generation architecture, MCLA is not only stronger, it's safer, and incredibly, it's lighter. MCLA has been designed hand-in-hand -hand with our all-new high-performance hybrid powertrain. At its heart is an entirely new 3-litre V6 engine with a pretty unusual 120 degree V angle, of course featuring direct injection. The hybrid system, while there to deliver that P1 driving experience, is in fact completely new. It features a bespoke axial flux motor and a lithium iron energy dense battery. Of course, this is designed to perform in the way you'd expect of a McLaren, providing torque infill at low RPM and then building to deliver linear response at high RPM. But of course, it's also been designed with longevity and cost of ownership front of mind. Together, the high performance hybrid powertrain delivers 671 horsepower and 531 foot pound of torque. 94 horsepower comes from the electric motor. Now the P1 demonstrated the benefits of torque infill in terms of delivering great throttle response. And this is the area of the Arturo I'm most excited about because I always want to have great throttle response. The hybrid powertrain provides around 20 miles of emissions-free EV running and contributes to an overall emissions performance of just 129 grams per kilometer. The hybrid powertrain incorporates an all new eight-speed transmission and the switch to a V6 engine, one with a specific capacity approaching 200 horsepower per litre, gives a different character of engine, but one with no drawbacks. Let's talk about performance for a second. Zero to 124 miles an hour in just 8.3 seconds. That's just a tenth of a second off the performance of our hardcore 600 LT model. And it doesn't stop accelerating till it hits 205 miles an hour. 
The opportunity to design the powertrain from a clean sheet of paper has allowed us to really focus on the acoustics. Minimising those sounds you'd rather not hear as a driver, but maximising those sounds you really do want to hear. The result is a high revving V6. We rev to 8,500 RPM with an emotive, aggressive soundtrack, but one that's also perfectly balanced. ground up Artura is designed to deliver the best possible handling and feedback and incorporates the latest technology to improve the driving experience. I mentioned earlier that our mission with Artura was to add the benefits of a high performance hybrid powertrain but without the weight penalty you'd normally expect with this type of technology. What I'm really pleased to say it's a mission we've absolutely delivered on with Artura weighing just 3,303 pounds DIN and just 3,075 pounds dry. We've retained our hydraulic steering system for the best possible feedback. This is matched with an all new stiff suspension system that really maximizes control of the contact patch. And this is paired with our proactive damping control to provide absolute fantastic body control, but without compromising ride comfort. And a first for McLaren is the use of an e-differential incorporated into that new eight-speed transmission. This enhances control, agility and cornering performance. As always, we provide the driver with a choice of both powertrain and handling modes. But in Artura, they're so much more straightforward to use. The instrument binnacle incorporates two rockers, which you can reach without having to take your hands off the wheel. To summarise, Artura very much represents our and possibly even the next generation supercar. It uses the very latest technology to provide a versatile and engaging driving experience.